ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमात फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू डिटेक्ट ए की प्रेस इवेंट विद इन दी जावा प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज द कंपाइलर व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग इज द एक्लिप्स आईडी सो फॉर इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू क्रिएट न्यू जावा प्रोजेक्ट वी विल name it is key press that okay or detector short form of the detector okay or you can write any other name of your own choice click on next and then on finish our project has been created now click on this expansion button and you can see this src folder right click on it go to new and create a class here we will write key presser is the name of the class you can write any other name okay it is not uh, necessary to write just specifically this name so you can write any other name also take this public static void main this button okay why it is so because uh, at least we need one public class and one void main function for the proper running of the java code okay now on the top you can see the name of the project that is key press that and key presser is our class while this is the wired main function now now we need to import certain classes in order to make our program run so we will import import java dot awt dot event dot key adopter okay so so this our first key adopter class okay which actually belongs to the sub package event then awt and then main package java so we are not supposed to go into the details of these classes okay we just need to import them out and then we will use them in order to run our program then we will write import java dot awt dot event dot key event okay dot key event okay so so this is our second class so one is key adopter and one is key event class and then we will write import java x dot swing import java x dot swing dot j frame okay j frame is specifically for gui so we also imported this out okay if you want to like uh, going to use some sort of like gui actions and all these things now we need to go to public static wired main function and also in the class okay in a wired main function we need to write after main here we will write throws exception and what is this thing throws exception means that throws exception means that if there are some sort of warning type errors or some in simple language if there are some errors of low tendency okay if we can mask them out so so this thing that is throws exception will mask them these runtime errors okay so we can write it out throws exception okay now we will write j frame f is equal to new j frame j frame f is equal to new j frame okay now why we are going to because uh, in java you must know that you you because it is an object oriented programming language so we have to if you want to use some j frame class uh, variables or some sort of functions or methods then we have to create a create an object and here f is our object so we can we can write j frame just f and with the help of this f we can we can just fetch all the methods and all the things inside this j frame class so now we will write f dot 8 key f dot Aid key listener okay dot key listener now this is our 
f dot eight key listener. Now we are going to fetch this key listener class. Okay, so we can write key listener. Okay, and and then then we will write all the things inside this these uh, small brackets. Okay, so it says f dot eight key listener and here we will write a new f dot head key listener new key adopter new key a d a p t o r okay okay so so uh, t e r adopter okay and here we will write these these double brackets okay and here we will we will write our function okay like this f dot listener so 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 what it is doing it it is dot add key listener is our function okay add key listener is our method okay and new key adopter is inside its parameters parameters okay inside its parameters brackets so overall this thing is listening to our what's called is the key press even detection so so it is just going going to use for this specific purpose so f dot eight key listener is equal to new key adopter now this is the body of our new key adopter now here we will write public void key pressed okay we will write public void public void key key pressed key event e key event e okay now so this our key pressed event if, if, like if there is any sort of event pressed okay then it will just provoke this function so key event e now we will go for like uh, this thing this thing this thing and one more bracket for this thing okay so now okay so it is new adopter and all these things so now we will write int key code is equal to e dot get key code okay so so this thing now now we have declared an integer type variable which is called as key code and it is saying e dot get key code that whenever the our key is pressed a key code will be stored inside this key code okay key code a uh, variable so we, we will write here system dot out dot print ln and key code key code okay so, so it, it will uh, it will write the key code for us key code okay so this thing and if key is equal to and and we will write if key it is saying this thing and if key is equal to is equal to and if condition will check that either any key is pressed and which key is pressed and all these things so if key code key code is equal to is equal to like 65 like 65 then we will write because uh, our ascii ascii code for like uh, the a key okay a key means that the alphabetic a key is giving us always a 65 ascii okay so here we will write uh, a is pressed a is pressed okay yes pressed so this thing now after a is pressed 
okay here we will write uh, this thing okay so or oh, sorry we will we will okay because so 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 you can see that this is our new key adopter so we we'll, we will write second parenthesis here okay so this thing now we will run it out our program and press ok now uh, whenever we will write a okay sorry okay we have to run it out and yes okay a is pressed then okay wait okay now one more thing that we also need to uh, f dot set visible true okay so we will write f dot set visible and true okay so now okay now now we can see that when we will press uh, a okay we, we can write here a is pressed okay sorry up arrow key is pressed a key a key is pressed okay so in this way we can uh, detect any other key okay now for b it is giving 66 for c it is giving 67 d is for 68 and for y 89 so in this way you can uh, like uh, detect the key press even detection within the java so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe